On today's Try to Finish Something, I hope you have started putting together your ideas or maybe you've even started on your art project. I would love to have you win some of these really cool prizes. All I ask of you is to put together some sort of a documentation, the progress of your art project. If you're drawing it, take photos along the way, take some video. If you're building it, do the same thing because the prizes for this are awesome and I'm not asking you to become a member of my channel, a subscriber to my YouTube, it'd be nice. By the way, a big thank you. I did reach 1,000 subscribers to my YouTube channel and a big thank you to all of you who helped make that happen. Now, the prizes for this contest, I'll put a link up above so that you can check out what this contest is all about in case you haven't figured it out. But the Star Wars Art Challenge has some great prizes. I was looking at Clever 3D Studio at those Mythosaur Skulls, you're gonna want one of those. The big 12-inch one for the grand prize is super cool, and you get your choice of finishes. And even the 9-inch one for the most creative interpretation, very, very cool. And that Gravistar Bluetooth speaker, I liked it so much, I ordered my own. And I'm gonna customize that coming up, and I'll give you details on that, but that's not what I'm going to do today. For those of you that enjoy watching me fail doing things, I've got a lot of failure today. I do get to some success, but not without a lot of failure. My Kylo Ren needs to go to a con this Sunday. That is just, oh God, that's really close. I'm going to finish up my Kylo Ren just to get it to a con. It definitely won't be 501st ready, but I'm gonna finish up my Kylo Ren and take it to a con on today's Try to Finish Something. All right, so these are the dimensions for the Kylo's leather belt. And it gets this half inch strip of leather on the top and the bottom with a stitch about in the middle of it. I ordered some scraps of thin and thick black leather and I checked with them first to make sure at least one was long enough and wide enough to make into my belt. I also ordered this scribing tool that I've never used to make a groove to carve out the leather to make the stitching possible. I'm testing this first on this scrap piece because I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm thinking maybe cutting the groove first and then cut it into a strip, it seems easier. Nah, I'm gonna go with it. Groove first. While I'm doing that, as I mentioned in the intro, hopefully you are working on or planning for your submission into the art challenge. But to give you some sort of timeline as to what I'm doing today, I just finished the video and put up the info for the art challenge. Link up above. And then my daughter let me know that she wanted to go to a local Comic-Con on Sunday. Video released Friday, Comic-Con Sunday. She wanted to know what I was going to dress up as. I could have said Mando or Shore Trooper, both done, both 501st approved, but that would be too easy and sane. I decided and announced proudly, Kylo. By the way, Kylo isn't done. It's Saturday and now I have the con tomorrow. I have this belt to finish, the neck gaiter thing, the entire outer surcoat and some other small details here and there. It's going to be a long day. Okay, one strip officially done. I think what I'm gonna do is just glue these strips on and then punch holes through both and hand sew these together. I will just glue them on with barge contact cement. Glue added to both sides, wait to dry, and connect. All right, now that both sides are glued together, it's time to make sure that the spacing is right for the buckle that I made on the Glowforge using my own design. I will glue that on with E6000. Clamp and wait. It's been about five hours and it's not fully cured, but you know, tick tock, I don't have time to wait anymore. I put a bit of barge on these scraps of leather and 
I am not sure I like the hold on it. I have these leather stitch punches and it's time to start putting in the stitch holes. And it's not going through both layers. Crap, you know, I didn't put a groove on the belt side and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through this. Yep, I pulled off the half inch strips. Might be better anyway, since it really wasn't that hard to pull off. I'm gonna punch holes in the groove all the way down the strip. And I cut a groove and put holes on the belt side and it's time to stitch these together by hand. This is going to take a while and it's getting late. I'm gonna grab all of my stuff and head inside. All right, the belt has been punched and hand sewn and it took a while. Now it's time to get to the surcoat and I have to stitch this material or it unravels and it's not going smoothly. It's getting late and I am nowhere near done. I'm having a ton of trouble and I'm not sure why. Off the record, I even called my mom and asked her for help, and without her being here, she's multiple states away, she really couldn't help. And for whatever reason, every 10 or so inches, it knots and clumps up, and I have to re-thread the needle, and I have to pull the knot out from under the foot. And I, I'm not sure if it's the thread being too thick, or it's the wrong needle, or if it's this material. I, I have no idea. I have determined through the course of today that I'm a decent seamstress. Seamster? Is seamstress gender specific? Is it tailor? <laughs> that sounds too fancy. Anyway, I'm okay at sewing, but I am terrible at troubleshooting. If I run into an issue, I stop and watch a lot of YouTube videos and I have no idea what to even look for. I am terrible. So what I'm doing is I'm making a sleeveless poncho thing and it gets these four tails or skirt thingies added to the poncho like a, you know, manly male skirt. Or should I call it a kilt? Ugh, see this, this is what it keeps doing. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. I'm gonna take a break and work on the gator before I throw this sewing machine off the deck, if I can get it out of here. Luckily, this material will hide my terrible sewing and I, I take that all back. I am not a good seamstress. Okay, for the gator, I have an unused trooper neck seal that has a zipper in the back and I cut some of the thinner black leather that I bought into strips and I will just sew those on to the neck seal that I already have. And it should be super easy. Spoke too soon. Look at this mess. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. The thread is bunching up even worse than the other material. It has to be me. Lucky for me, this side isn't seen and the other side looks fine. It's really late and I'm just gonna plow forward. I'm getting really frustrated and it's getting really late. It is not pretty on the inside, but the outside of everything seems to look Fine, I'm going to just try and continue with this mess that I'm making of the surcoat and see if I can get this done. I am here at the Comic-Con and getting dressed. Well, I finished it. It's nowhere near ready for 501st approval, but I finished it enough to wear to the con. It's not perfect. And yes, my Black Series Saber arrived and I got to take it to the con. The paint on it isn't great, but I am at the con and I am Kylo Ren, and my oldest daughter got to wear out her Ghostbusters gear. The price for all of this hard work that I put in? Yep, more embarrassment for them. I am shopping as Kylo. The girls said they wanted muffins and bagels. I bet Kylo could pick those up. I can still hear them screaming, No, Dad, no! Yes, Dad, yes. I am still shocked by the lack of reactions of most people. It seems no big deal just shopping with a guy dressed as Kylo. Oh, and I wanted round table pizza and not takeout either. 
I am ordering and eating it here. Want to know why? You mean other than embarrassing the family? They have skeet ball. Well, that is it. Kylo for the con is finished. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please subscribe and tell a friend and share it. If you didn't, as always, just keep it to yourself, and we'll see you next time as we try to finish something. <laughs>